assalamu alaikum good morning and once again welcome to all of you i am your science teacher javeria rahman and students we are studying the characteristics of living things in unit number 4 in the previous lecture you learned about the animal and plant cell now at the end of this lecture you will be able to tell what are the major characteristics of living things so let's start dear students there is a variety of living things on the earth now question is this what does it means to be alive or what characteristics do all organisms or living things have that make them different from non living things so here is a list of that characteristics and the first one is all living things need food to get energy they respire they grow they can move by themselves they have sensitivity they reproduce and they excrete waste materials out of the body let us study this in detail number 1 need food students living things need energy in order to perform their life processes and this energy is provided by their food as you know animals cannot prepare their food so they get this energy by eating different plants and other animals while on the other hand plants possess chlorophyll and make their food themselves through a process called photosynthesis in this process plants use water and carbon dioxide in the presence of sunlight and prepare glucose and oxygen number 2 growth dear students all living things grow and increase their size and for this purpose they go through a life cycle students all animals have babies which grow and resemble their parents while adult plants produce seeds which grow to make new plants respiration students both plants and animals during respiration take in oxygen and give out carbon dioxide both of these use oxygen to break down their food in order to obtain energy for this purpose some animals like humans use their lungs to inhale oxygen and exhale carbon dioxide while the other animals breathe through their skin or gills for example frog and fish respectively so this is the end of today's lecture now what you have to do answer this question how can you prove that non living things cannot grow give at least two examples to justify your answer and send your assignment at this given gmail id before your next lecture and if you want to ask any question related to this topic you can contact me anytime through this email id until then best of luck allah hafiz